Okay, guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet v VGC video. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Did I say that right? This, there, there's gonna be times I'm gonna forget. Anyways, today we're bringing you a Ambi Palm team thanks to Crusadia. Um, does Pokeport and Poke Bros Discord? He's a he's a friend of mine. He's a buddy, so he's a bro. But yeah, he he's bringing a Kurum. I Kurum. Uh. Kurum Black. Kurum Black, yeah, Zekrom. Yeah. <laughs> I needed to remember which one. I had to look at the, the fusion flare to realize which one I was running. But yeah, it's it's um Kurum 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 Black with an Ambi Palm to kinda help us out. So something I wanted to quickly say though, Crusadia, because uh, I haven't been I've been so busy, so I haven't been able to like pay attention to teams as much. I've just been busy with coursework. I'm studying computer science for everyone for every, anyone um wondering but yeah that's kind of what's been keeping me busy coding and stuff but something to note is that you could since you're running upper hand you could have had some sort of dragonite or lucario shenanigans terra normal extreme speed lucario would have been sick i would i i actually got murdered by one not too long ago so that would have actually been pretty sick because you can um, upper hand extreme speed into weakness policy and then just have a plus two Lucario slamming you with that plus two. So you could do that with Dragonite, of course. You could do that with anything, honestly. Anything that has priority, you could have done that. Like Entei as well. But anyways, either way, I was I just wanted to kind of like say that in case you got, in case you know you cook something up with Ambi Palm again or up your hand, that would be kind of cool. But either way, this team is still pretty cool because we have Kieran Black and I haven't used Kieran Black in quite some time. I don't think I've used one in a while. I could be wrong. I can't remember. It's Regulation G is starting to give me brain rot. So either way, we have Nine Tails here. We have, we, we have Rillaboom and we have Fluttermane. Those three, we don't really have to talk about. You already, you already know what those things do. Uh, Ambipom here, though, we have Triple Axel, Upper Hand, and Fake Out. Funny enough, all we have is Fake Out and Upper Hand. And triple axel triple axel being our only real damaging move and then we have fake out but it's not really here for for that it's just here to fake out and probably just switch out into stuff we've got skeleton search here with roar shadow ball torch song and will-o-wisp roar is a little nifty thing because you can stop trick room from going up and thanks to safety goggle they can't redirect that unless they're buzzing ogre pond which at that point oh well who cares skeleton search doesn't mind trick room as much but i mean it's still not the fastest in trick room but they'll most likely tear us seeing a fire type if they're running um, Ice Rider, which 99% of the time they are running Ice Rider in a Trick Room team. So they'll think, oh no, we're gonna get tear, we're gonna get Will O' Wisp or Torch Song. Let me just tear and just roar them out and deal with them later. But yeah, we got Kiram here, we got Nine Tails, we got Fluttermane, Rillaboom, and then we've got the Ambi Palm. Really excited to see if Ambi Palm can do some damage with that Fake Out and see if Kiram can do stuff with its Choice Specs Blizzards. With that said, guys, if you guys want to try out the team, the rent of the Poke Pace will be in the description below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to subscribe because it does help with the algorithm. And let's get right into the battles and see what we can do. Okay, well, this is interesting. There's no psychic terrain. At least not from what I can see. There is weather, though. There is indeed weather. The problem is that even if we were to t terra, uh, bring in Rillaboom, for the Groudon, they could just Terra. Uh, what do we want to do here? Because we we can't we can't bring Nine Tails in. We can't. We can't. We we absolutely can't. We might just do these two then. Honestly. Let's try this. Let's absolutely try this. Let's try this, but the problem is there's a there's a Regi Drago on the team and we have no speed control, I think, on this team. Right? We don't. We don't. Not even Icy Wind. Oh yeah, that's that'll do it. We do have Ambi Palm though. We do have Ambi Palm though. He might protect. He might double protect actually and then psych up. I don't think Roar goes through through that though, right? I 
I'm gonna switch into Ninetales. I don't think he attacks here. And I'm, I'm gonna switch back into Ambipom right after. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, this is gonna be annoying. Oh my god, I was gonna... Are you serious, man? Me thinking they're gonna protect and they don't protect. Come on, man. Oh boy, yeah. They'll do it. They'll, they'll definitely do it. How oh, fun. How oh, fun, how oh, fun. I don't think we can win anymore. We have to get lucky to win here. We absolutely do. I didn't fake out thinking they were gonna double protect because it has speed boost. You you can't you can't do anything about that. I have to Terra here. I'm gonna switch back into uh MB Palm. MB Palm is pretty much just gonna die, like for free. And it's not gonna do anything. It's gonna get put to sleep here. He might even protect. I think his best play would even be just prote protect. But I have to Terra here. I absolutely have to Terra here. Oh my god, gravity against gravity? It's not like I'm, I know every single move a Pokemon knows, especially when nobody uses Iron Crown. You're not gonna know this. It's just best of one stuff. I was really close to hitting Fake Out on that thing too, but it's speed boost, so protect was pretty obvious. Like, like it's like anybody would go, would have gone for for it at that point. Really, I like I, I can do because we gotta re you gotta remember that uh, he's on gravity, so he's never gonna miss. Can we wake up, please? If we wake up, we might have a shot. Yeah, we lost. All right. All right. Let's just let's just get out. Let's just get it out of the way. There's nothing I can do. I have to fake this out. Taking away the sun doesn't help since it's, it's just crowd on. He just puts up the sun for himself. Yeah, I needed to wake up. That's that's two turns because um, I have to wake up here now, right? Wow, that did nothing. Yep, there's the, there's a the sleep. Skeletors, you need to wake up here. You need to wake up here for us to have a shot. Nice. Okay, hold on. It might be Sash though, but it's really our only shot. Yeah, it's Sash. Okay. I think we we'll lose then. We're also put to sleep, so we can't even do anything about it. No, yeah, we 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 100 lose. Oh, because of turn one, best of one. It's just a best of one. It's it's really not that he's better or anything. It was just best of one because I didn't know a hypnosis. Gravity was coming. Like, there's no way for me to to see that coming. Nobody would have seen see, see that coming. Extremely annoying. I just press the place plate, it's me, and I lose. He hasn't terrorized, by the way, so we, we, we literally lose. He just has to tear out. Turn fire and he wins. Yeah, gravity returns to normal, but that doesn't mean like 
That doesn't really mean anything. Oh well. Let's just get best of one and get to the next game. I'm still trying just because there's enough chance we can win, but I don't think there is. Yeah, so if I went for Torch Song Fake Out, he would have he would have been in so much trouble. That's the, like like I said, like, like I'm like I'm telling you right now. Like if if I knew Fake Out Torch Song, it goes down, and that's that's it. Like his his strategy is over. He doesn't he doesn't do anything anymore. He can't win anymore. Uh, Skeletor's pretty much just uh, sits on the uh, Groudon. He could switch out, but I mean, is it really worth it? He can he can just hit a raw hypno. He's gonna hit a, hot, a raw hypnosis right now, guaranteed. I can tell you right now he's gonna hit a, a raw hypnosis. That's kind of my RNG, so I'm expecting it. Oh, struggle bug. Oh, yeah, struggle bug works too. I don't think it has protect either. I was about to say he's faster, but it's got a tailwind. Oh, it still KO'd him though. That's funny, considering we're at minus one. Does it matter though? No, not really. He has a a full on, he has a full on um, knuckle belly and the uh, iron iron crown in the back. So it's not it's like it's not like we can win. And this thing in the back too. We don't outspeed this thing. All right. Let's just uh, let's just end it. We at least took two chaos. Freeze them. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you wish. You wish you'd get a freeze. You absolutely wish you could get a freeze. My energy don't work that well. It's okay. I'm not really upset of losing this one just because it's literally best of one. And that's the only way his, his plan worked. Because one fake out and one sword song, and he kind of loses his, his whole strategy, and it's gone. Because then what does he do? Like, look, looking at his team, what does he do against uh, the Skelly Dirge? Once I, once I get rid of that that uh, strategy. I'm pretty sure Skelly Dirge sweeps him. Yeah, I just have to put screens up, bring Skelly Dirge back in later, and it's, it's, it's GG. Oh well. Okay, I am absolutely scared here. Let's just go with Skelly Dirge for sure. Skelly Dirge... Kind of covers me and everything that he has. He has no weather control, so I could go Nine Tails here for for screens as well, and then just go Ambi Palm and cure him. Correct. Correct. Better is huge here, actually, unless he goes um, and of course, remember how I was talking about in the. This is why I say uh, matchmaking. Matchmaking just loves putting stuff that counters me. Because remember what I said in the beginning uh, in the intro. This character has safety goggles to deal with Amoongus Ice Riders, right? And look what we look what we ended up running into. You don't think that's kind of crazy? I think that's crazy. Who's putting it up now, though? That's the question. He might protect Trick Room, so I think I'm just gonna go for uh, Roar here and Aurora Veil, and we'll figure out how to deal with the uh, with the, the Glacial Lance Horse later. It's really a 50/50. I can't I can't really do anything about this. Absolutely a 50/50. I could Terrestrialize to Water. Do I need to? Probably. He is Terrestrializing. So he went for the Terrasalize. Did I lose the 50-50? We'll find out right now. I lost the 50-50. You've gotta be joking, man. I can't I can't predict this man. I'm having such a terrible time today. <laughs> oh he didn't go for it though. Oh, you can roar through through protect. I didn't know that. 
I absolutely did not know you could do that. That is news to me. And we ran into Fire Terra, of course, by the way. Every time I see, like, Poke Sports or someone playing, they're always water or grass. Oh, man. Crazy, crazy stuff. Okay. Crazy, crazy stuff. All right, let's just do this. This team is really hard to play. We keep running into like ice resist up the bamboozle. And we don't really have a way to deal with these ice resists on this team. Actually, yeah, we don't. We have no way to deal with ice resists on this team. <laughs> That's kind of rough. How do we how do we beat these teams that have like Insin Ice Rider and stuff? They don't, right? Doesn't seem like it's possible. Alright, we got the bro out now. Yeah, okay, we'll go Envy Palm. We'll go Envy Palm. Pretty sure KO's the Ogre Palm one shot, but what if he protects? Whatever. Let's just do it. <laughs> Not much else I can do about that. Like we we stopped Trick Room, right? Well we didn't stop it, but like Trick Room, okay, good. He didn't he didn't go for that. I don't know why he will why would he go for that? I was getting rid of that. I mean Blizzard spam is mainly what I go for here. Okay. Blizzard spam is indeed what I go for here. Yeah, I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with the Ice Rider though. I have to like Draco Meteor it. That's like my only way. Remember, he still has Giraffe in the back too. I think he gets Shook him up now. I don't see how he doesn't get it up. Yeah, I think I lose. Yeah, this thing comes out. I can't fake out. Like, the monkey's useless. The monkey's useless now. Oh. Well, I mean, either way. I don't know if I can stop up it with upper hand, and I mean, I can't stop it anyways. Yeah, it's getting Trick Room up. I have to hope for a freeze dry crit, and hope upper hand works. Through uh, through armor tail, I don't. I I'm just I'm just testing this interaction at this point. We're doing a little testing now. Yeah, it, it does. I get stopped. Okay, good to know. Yeah, trick comes up now. Yep. Okay. I needed to know that though. I wasn't sure. Like I didn't know Roar went through protect, for example. Yeah, let's just uh let's just switch out and see what we can do. We don't have any way to deal with ice resist mons. Like fire is is problematic for this team. Fire is an absolute menace for this team. Like how do you deal with them? You can't blizzard spam them to death. Alright, monkey. Well, I already saw how little fake out did let's see what happens here i mean if he doesn't bring out the uh the ice rider now then that's perfect i'm cool with that why does skeletor go wow when it dies what the heck 
<laughs> this, this thing does no damage. <laughs> Me, I'm so bad. <laughs> so bad. That's so funny. Yeah, my monkey's absolutely useless now. <laughs> this is so sad. I think we needed a normal move, not a nice move on this thing. It might do more damage. Like double hit? Double hit would probably be really good here. Moonblast. I'm just gonna go for freezes. Trickum's up and it's like... He should be switching into his, his horse already. If he doesn't switch out this turn, I'll I'll, I'll switch into the into Kyurem, but I'm just kind of stalling at this point. I think it's my only option. I have what? Fake out, upper hand, ice, a uh, triple kick, and I think protect, right? I think that's what we have going on with this team. There's foul play, doesn't do any- oh wow, we don't have any damage. That foul play did nothing. Broco hit. Broco hit. Critical Hita. Okay, um, alright, Crusadia, I need to look at your the Ramp one real quick. It is 252 attack, so it, it is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, we're gonna protect here. We have two turns of Trick Room left. Might as well. They didn't they didn't go for the monkey this time. He did survive, but barely. Okay, we got rid of that. That's good at least. Okay, next turn I protect, he has no trick room anymore. But I don't know how I deal with this this horse. We don't have any way to deal with it. That's yeah, super effective, but it doesn't do any damage. Aurora goes down this turn too, right? Yeah, it does. Oh well, let's see what happens. Yep, there's Glacial. Goodbye, monkey. You did nothing. That's that's pretty much what you did. You did nothing. Yeah, not having a way to like deal with it. These fire types is kind of rough. Looking at the team now. Like you didn't even put high horsepower on your Rillaboom. How do you deal with fire types? Like how? I think Lando is practically a necessity on this team. I'm putting up Aurora Bell back up. I mean, I'm pretty sure Draco Meter doesn't get the KO. I'm gonna need crits here. Like 50 crits will will do me a, a solid right now. Ah, uh, that's what I was afraid of. Oh well. Yeah, GG. I really had no choice. I had to go for it. He did finally protect. I still want to see how much Draco meter will do. If I go down here, yeah. I do want to see how much Draco Meter does though. Alright, what are you thinking on? You already know what you need to do. Just Glacial Lance into Knockoff and you should be fine. 
Because then that makes it really hard to, to take out the other thing. Yeah, it wasn't enough. I already knew it wasn't enough. That's the reason Kyurem Kyurem isn't being used. So if we somehow live this, we could go for blizzards. Hey, we could go for a blizzard, but we lose to uh Never mind, we can't go. I am going for Blizzard anyways. Who cares? Who cares at this point? Just do it. Send it in. Send it in. We don't have a way to deal with um with fire mons on this team anyways. Send it in. Oh, okay. Didn't have to protect. You could have just take me out. Just take me out, man. Put me out of my misery. I'm gonna miss blizzards. I can't. I can't freeze them, but I'll miss blizzards. So they ha I think they have like the. No, I don't think they have the same ch chance to to hit. All right. Well, second game lost with Ambipom. It is not looking good for this team right now. <laughs> it is not. Because we just don't have any way to deal with fire types. We don't. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Oh well. Let's go to the next one. Oh boy, another Shadow Rider team when I'm running Ambipom. Okay. Seriously, what do I do? Uh, I'm just gonna try these two, put this in and then put Fluttermain in the back. Call it a day at this point. I think that's 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 what I gotta do. Are we gonna go zero three on this in this video? Probably. When this Amipom doesn't have a way to deal damage itself, probably, yeah. Because when you think about it, right? Why do we need upper hand on the f probably the most the f the most fastest uncommon Pokemon you'll find? Because I mean, there's faster ones like like um like Weavile. I think it's I think Weavile's faster than Amipom. Like Weavile, there is. There's one more, but I can't I can't remember which one, but there are technically faster fake out users. But the meta ones are already slower than Ambipom. And I, I kinda get it, you kinda like Chen Pao, Thunderclap, stuff like that, but like I don't know. Are you really scared of Thunderclaps? Are you really scared of um of sucker punches on this team? No. You kinda need damage on the monkey. Cause otherwise what does it do after, you know? And, and look at this fake out cover cloak. What do we do? Can, wait, can I can I upper hand his? Oh, it wouldn't matter, right? I don't think it would. No, I can't. Never mind. I almost I almost thought I had something to cook. We're we're getting countered here, aren't we? Oh yeah, we're one hundred percent getting countered here. Oh boy, we're getting countered. I'm gonna I'm gonna protect just to be sure. I'm gonna protect just to be sure. Monkey, this is your chance to shine. Do something. It is your ch chance to shine, Abby Palm. You must do something today. Oh, a switch. Interesting. The Metagross. We have a shot at possibly stopping bullet punches with this monkey. Yeah, I told you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not silly to go for that. I knew this thing was gonna do that. Alright, monkey. Here we go, come on, monkey. You got this. Nice, okay. Good. Good job, Ambipom. You got a KO in the, in, in the video. I think that's a win for me. That's a win showcase right there. We finally got a, show, a, a win with the Ambipom. Maybe not a game win, but we got a win with the Ambipom, and that's more than enough for me. Hmm. Now what do we do? <laughs> Got rid of that, but what do we do now? Yeesh! What do we do? Let's just cure him? Probably. Like I said, we're, we're losing this. We got countered again. We got counter teamed again. They brought they bought tornadoes, they have rain dance, they have an Urshifu to deal to, to, to cover themselves with the rain dance. 
They didn't even go for bullet punch. There you go. There you go. They went for they went for meteor mash. Your whole team is weak to steel too. Not your whole team, but like three of your like most important mons are weak to steel. Hard press, yeah. There you go. All right. There you have it. There you have it. Funny, fun, fun. Let's just lose this game and get on with our get on with our lives, guys. Ambi Palm just doesn't work. Not with upper hand fake out. <laughs> it's not gonna work. It had one chance to showcase its upper hand, and it, they didn't even go for it either. Yippee! I mean, what do we do? Like, what does what do we do? There's, there's nothing we can do. It's 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 a done deal. Too many, there's too many weaknesses on top of this team. Just bullet punch me, man. Just do it. Nah, he just goes for hard press again. It's it's really all I can do is is upper hand. It's not a sold vest, that's for sure. Goodbye. Ah, goodbye. <laughs> they literally just ignore the monkey and just take KO, KO everything on the right. Yeah, goodbye. Damn, man, can can we get rid of um, Regulation G already? I'm tired, man. I'm tired, homies. This ain't working out anymore. Regulation G is just not anymore. Like we have to, we have to play with things like this to make content at this point. And it, and it, and we're at the we're at the mercy of um of matchmaking, you know. Technically, I could have gone for triple axle to finish it, but at this point, I'm tired, guys. I'm tired, boss. I mean, he took him out just for fun, too. And like, he doesn't lose anyways, right? He has a hole restricted in the back. We lost ours right off the bat to the Metagross. Those nine tails, Kyurem, and Fluttermane are all weak to well, Metagross. Yeah. Not much we can do. All right. Let's get out of here and uh, just, just go move on. Yeah, that's it. All right, well, that's going to be the end of the video. Maybe I should just start a do not use series. Because at this point, this is what's happening with these last few mods that we're going to be using. Because they're just not good. <laughs> they're not good for the restricted. And it's not only that. It's like this This team doesn't have a way to cover yourself against its like true weakness, which is fire and like steel. There's nothing that covers it. Like Even Rillaboom doesn't have high horsepower for some reason. Like there, there, there needs to be a ground move somewhere on this team, and if you think about it, why is Rillaboom on the team anyways? When Kyurem has freeze dry, like you, your water types are covered, like your ground types are covered because you're ice. So why is Rillaboom in this team? Just because it's Rillaboom? Like, <laughs> come on, man, we don't need Rillaboom on this team. Technically, we don't need Ambipom on this team. If you re if you were really to like focusing on making it a meta team, Ambipom would go, 100%. We leave Rillaboom in because it's, like I said, it's Rillaboom, but we get rid of Ambipom and put a ground type. But because Ambipom needs to stay, because that's the whole point of the team, is to run something silly, uh, I would take off Rillaboom and put in like Lando or something. Some some sort of, some sort of ground type. Like, what do you do against Amazenta, man? What do you do against Amazenta? Fluttermane? Burn gets heavy slam. Then what? Like skeletons, yeah, you could burn it, but then it, it's still going to die to a heavy slam before Fluttermain even gets anything off. Like it's 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 silly. We need we need a ground move. We need a ground move or a ground type, and I think Rillaboom can easily be replaced for like Lando or something. Because then now you have things for like Zamazenta. You have things for like Metagross in case you run into those. Incineroar, Terra Fire, Ice Riders. I just give give Lando some sort of uh, defensive Terra like steel to to make sure that you can deal with that. Like 
you needed to cover yourself better, man. And and this this definitely wasn't it. Like you have no way to cover yourself, especially if Ambibon is going to be an absolute like okay, let me say let me say something. Let me say something else. You have two ice types already running Blizzard and ice moves. Why does Ambipom have an ice move too? <laughs> Do we really need a third ice move? Probably not. This is this is what I mean. Like there, there's so many things you can change on this team and it would work so much better. Like you don't even have to change much, but Rillaboom needs to go. Ground types needs to come in because what I don't know how you deal with your with, with Incineroars. I don't know how you deal with like, unless you Draco Meteor them and they're not going to just ha like freely give you those Draco Meteors, you know? Especially because Amipom doesn't do anything after a fake out or, or upper hand. It just doesn't do anything. It just sits there. You, you kind of have to force yourself to switch. And if they have a bunch of ways to deal with it, which is steel and fire types, which are very common, you don't really do anything. It's it's unfortunate, but it's the truth. But oh well, that's all I have to say about this team. I I, I can't really say anything else. At least we got a kill. At least we got a KO with Ambi Palm. That's all I can say. All right. Well, I'm just gonna get off. I'm I'm, I'm tired, boss. It's it's 1 a.m. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.